Hey, what's up my dubious steepers, your boy Moist Mercenary, and today I'm back with yet another Beyblade Metal Fight video. Today I'm taking a look at this Repro Beyblade Stadium, the uh, summit from BasinBricks.com, exclusive to BasinBricks.com. I'm going to be showing it off here today, looking nice and fresh and clean compared to that utterly destroyed uh, BB10 Repro that I looked at a little while ago, or not looked at, but have been using for months now it was the uh, alix repro and it was battered so yeah anyways i'm gonna test out this now that i have it if you want one of these for yourself i highly recommend it it's a 20 dollar beyblade stadium and uh yeah you can get seven percent off with code moist over at basingbricks.com it is exclusive over there so go ahead and get this for yourself it is super nice and clean and sturdy i love it i'm about to be pushing it to the limits i've got a bunch of custom base here and some pretty good combos that my friends gave me and this should really push the stadium over the edge here we got cascade aquario 90 ewd suggested by project 1216 on my last video uh, next we have saber dragonis um, metal face 2 heavy uh, wing 105 rubber flat actually given to me by my editor so a uh, shout out to chroma Next, we have Algid Eagle, which is a combo another friend of mine gave me over on Discord. Uh, got me using it on Wing 145 Rubber Ball. Solid defense combo. We've got uh, a Staller here in Arc Kerbex. Though, this is a pretty angry Staller. We got a Left Wing 105 Metal Flat. This is a pretty angry Staller. Got the Kerbex Clear Wheel. This should hit pretty hard still. And lastly, we have Ash Sagittario, Metal Phase 2 Heavy with the Switch 145 left flat. So this is gonna be a loud bay. This is gonna be an aggressive bay. We've got a lot of loud, aggressive, and just super powerful bays. Hefty, chunky bays as well that should do a lot of, of damage to the stadium. Really give it that good old stress test. Let's see how it holds up by the end of this video. Starting off, I just also want to say I'm not doing any specific battles. I'm just picking up bays and launching them, seeing how they do with each other. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. We've got Cascade Aquario versus Saber Dagonis. Already seeing some powerful collisions off the bat there. Very cool. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Ooh, a nice counter knockout from Cascade right there. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And a clean knockout from Saber Dragonis. Let's go ahead and uh, just do like two or three more battles with these guys and then see how they perform with some other base. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Oh, a sick and super powerful knockout right there. Let's see some, uh, let's see Algid versus Saber. Or actually, no, I'm gonna use Algid versus Ash right now. Sorry for the zoom in at the end there. Hit that by mistake while trying to stop the recording. 3, 2, 1, go shoot with Algid Eagle and, uh,. <laughs> Super late knockout, but nice deflection from Algid there, just barely budging and then sending Ash Sagittario flying. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. A bit of a snipe right there, but still a nice knockout. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot.
Bit of an interesting performance there, just kind of grinding into one spot with Ash right there. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Pretty good showing we had there of these bays. Uh, let's go ahead and switch up the combos now. Let's go ahead and go straight for some uh, more attack on attack type of combos here. We've got uh, Ash versus Ark. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Nice deflection from Ark right there. Three, two, one, go shoot. One, whatever. It's just a self KO right there. I am noticing that's a bit more of an issue on this stadium for some reason. Like things just slide over the rail. Maybe it's because it's so smooth compared to other stadiums, so like less worn stadium or more worn stadiums. But I don't know. Three, two, one, go shoot. <laughs> That was just my fault. Keep going, go shoot. And go shoot. And a giant collision with a double knockout right there. Very nice. Another double knockout right there, very cool. Let's go ahead and try some other battles. Also, I realized I said some more attack versus attack stuff, and then I remembered uh, I did not do another attack versus attack combo. So let's do the Saber versus Ash real quick. This run should be fun. Here we go. Shoot. And let it rip. A nice little chaser out of the stadium. Fumbled the whole launch. That battle was about to be not fun. Each one go shoot. Each one let's rip. <laughs> nice, <laughs> insane collision right there. Just kills its own stamina while also knocking out the opponent. And a nice knockout from Saber once again. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's do Saber versus Algid real quick. That one sounds fun, doesn't it? Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Of course, I just have to have an entire skill issue. Let it rip. Let it rip. And of course, a nice double knockout. Two on, go shoot. And go shoot. I'm not even relaunching. Go shoot. Okay. Go shoot. Oh my god. Go shoot. Oh my lord. Go shoot. And go shoot. Saber really killed itself by hitting the walls, huh? That's unfortunate. We can go shoot. And go shoot. And a nice repel from Algid right there. <laughs> Didn't even give Bro the chance to attack that time. Performing like Rock Leon did in the anime, jeez. Uh, let's go ahead and try some other combos. Let's do a battle of the two stamina-focused bays, but uh, 
I am not going to try and flat launch this. I do not feel like sitting through stalls and all that. Crazy immediate knockout, though that was a snipe. Dude, come on, go shoot. And go shoot. Oh, a nice counter right there from Cascade. Again, I do not want to sit through a stall. I'm here to test some big collisions, not this stalling. Though I will say, a stall would be really nice considering how smooth and nice the stadium is, but you would also have to be careful considering what like, it is smooth, so there's not as much traction, so. Three, two, one, go shoot. A lot of chance for knockouts here. And just like that beautiful combo right there into a nice knockout. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And a nice counter from Cascade right there. Very cool performances so far. Let's try it against Ash real quick. So here we go, Ash versus Cascade. Let's see it go. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Nice counter from Cascade there. It seems like a surprisingly angry bay. Three, two, one, go shoot. Good lord. Just not even letting Ash get the attacks. Three, two, one, go shoot. Let her rip. And there we go, Ash finally getting a knockout. One, go shoot. And go shoot. Nice counter right there. Surprised to see Ash just sit there and wait when it's on left flat. One, go shoot. And go shoot. One, go shoot. And go shoot. Good lord. Okay. So, after doing all of those battles, let's go ahead and just get a little count on the damage we've done here. Let's see how the stadium is holding up so far. Obviously, a lot of scuffs and scratches on the surface now. Went from being nice and pristine at the start to, yeah, you could see under the light just how much of this stadium was beaten and bruised by those battles they sure to use those nice custom hefty bays uh all around like the 40 saber is the lightest at 40 i believe uh algid is the heaviest at 49 so around that range though most of them are between 46 and 49 grams saber is just exceptionally light here so yeah uh proving weight doesn't matter as much as you would think saber is so light and it was getting some insane knockouts right there so yeah very cool from that bay uh we can see a bit of roughness on some of the edges of the walls here some of them still feel quite smooth but yeah i feel like on other stadiums those hits would have just straight cracked the walls so this feels like it's gonna be very durable and withstand a lot of damage over the course of using bays in here i'm super excited to test it out some more super excited to be using finally a nice much cleaner stadium for my videos now i'm probably gonna put a bb10 under it in the future videos but just for the sake of testing it here i did not put the bb10 under it because that wouldn't have been a fair comparison to like uh the when i did the repro without anything under it so yeah there we go. That's how this stadium performed. I'm super happy with it. I think this is a great purchase. $20 for a very good, powerful, well, not powerful, but just durable, fun stadium. A BB-10, of course, pretty much uh, a identical to a BB-10. Go ahead and pick one of these up yourself over at BasinBricks.com, and I will see you guys next time.